activity here. They must have come to these ruins. Let's go deeper inside. Paimon sure hopes Ganyu's information is reliable. But why does it feel stranger and stranger as we make it deeper into these ruins? <laughs> um, be careful now. Paimon's right behind you. This looks like a person. Could it be the Grand Thief? Why is he in that position? Is he praying to something? <gasps> That's... Why is the Statue of the Seven hanging upside down? And... The statue's hands! Paimon remembers they're normally holding an orb, right? But... This statue is holding... What is that? Uh... Paimon has a really bad feeling about this. And... The Grand Thief hasn't moved an inch. Do... Do you think he's... on the secrets of the Abyss. You have come here. You have seen our secrets. For this, you must pay the price. As a herald, I will mete out your punishment. An Abyss herald? Dane. Danesliff. Oh, I thought you were just a couple of pests that stumbled in here by mistake. So, you are with Danesliff, that constant annoyance in our affairs. Did he send you here to die? His resistance against the Abyss has gone nowhere for a long time. There is nothing you can do to change the tide. The Abyss is unstoppable! What is this power? Pyra's never seen it before! Careful! Please don't get cocky! Let's roll! Okay, that one hurt. <laughs> Bam! <sighs> this power... It seems... Familiar. <sighs> I see... So it's you! You are the one! In that case... I shall stay here no longer. <sighs> what a tough battle! Are you okay? Oh, such a 
such a strong enemy. Who knew the Abyss Order had monsters this powerful among them? Huh? What is it? What are you thinking about? Oh, right, yeah. We're near the exit now. Let's get out of this scary place before something even more dangerous shows up. So, we meet again. A little sooner than I had expected. Hey, it's Dane! Judging by your expression, it seems you just experienced something quite strange. Could it be that you encountered an Abyss Herald in those ruins? I've been on the Abyss Herald's trail. I didn't expect to find you here as well. An inverted statue of the Seven, holding Abyssal power in its hands. No, I have never seen such a thing during my time fighting the Abyss. Though I have had my suspicions. Tell me the rest of what happened in there, so you escaped the ruin depths filled with abyssal power, and then? And then, as we got close to the exit, an abyss herald suddenly appeared and blocked our way! We fought a big battle with that thing. Maybe it hasn't gotten too far yet. Yes, this is a rare opportunity indeed. Come, let's catch up to it. A rare opportunity? With Dane helping out, maybe we'll be able to solve more mysteries about the Abyss! We're just digging through these abandoned ruin guards looking for something of value. Oh, is that so? The Traveler here seems to like doing that a lot, too. Looking for chaos devices, chaos circuits, you know, that kind of stuff. Hmm, they wouldn't be searching for such ordinary objects. In fact, I was nearby investigating precisely because Abyss Mages often come out from that ruin to explore. They seem to be searching the remains of Ruin Guards for a certain valuable object to take back to the ruins. However, they look disappointed, so it would seem they haven't found it yet. Well then, why didn't you grab one of them just now and ask what they were up to? I certainly don't mean to be merciful towards these monsters of the Abyss. But I have a feeling that their plan with this object is of major importance to the entire Abyss Order. One cannot discover the truth behind it through interrogation. Or rather, these Abyss Mages likely fear something else much more than they do a painful interrogation. Goosebumps thinking about all of this. All right, we shouldn't waste too much time here. Let's continue our search. Ruin guards sure are active around here. 
<laughs> Seems wherever we find an Abyss Mage hideout, there's often a bunch of Ruin Guards roaming around too. Is that just a coincidence? Or... There are no coincidences in the world. Everything is the fruit of seeds planted long ago. Just like your appearance in that tavern, time is just waiting for those seeds to sprout. Forget it. Just some needless musings. The connection between the Abyss Order and the Ruin Guards is by no means incidental. Rather, they are both branches that have grown out and up from the same roots below. Branches? Roots? What do you mean exactly? Both originate from an ancient nation that was destroyed 500 years ago. Kanria. Huh? Kanria? Really? The Abyss Order and Ruin Guards are left over from after the destruction of that nation? Oh. Speaking of Kanria, that's really a super ancient name! Oh! Right. As your guide, Paimon should explain a bit here. A long time ago, the nation of Conria was... Huh? You have memories of being there. But that nation was destroyed 500 years ago! Hmm... Is that so? Well... Everyone has their secrets. You did not pry into mine, so I shall not pry into yours. But, if you would like to tell me, I will listen. So, the Kanria you saw, what was it like? So that's the complete story, huh? Paimon thought that you ran into that unknown god first! I see... So your first memory after coming to this world was being awoken by your brother from within that meteorite. It seems your brother woke up first! But the question is, how long before you? And then your brother told you that the destruction of Kanria plunged the whole world into chaos, and that you two should leave this world called Tevat? The destruction of Kanria? He said that? That destruction you witnessed, that's... history from 500 years ago. It seems the first time you awoke in this world was indeed during that period. Huh. So your brother must have understood this world better than you did, because he woke up first. And it was shortly after that that you encountered an unknown god who blocked your path, so you couldn't escape. Oh, Paimon knows this part really well. I understand. When you awoke at that time and hurriedly tried to leave for another world, you didn't know anything about Kanria. But now, since you have come to gain some understanding of Tevat, you are able to guess that the war you witnessed all those years ago must be the war that ended Kanria. Am I right? been flipping through all sorts of books during our adventure these past few months. Before going to Mondstadt, you had just looked at some vague materials. Later, we managed to gather a whole bunch of old books from all around Mondstadt and Liyue, but you told Paimon they were useless. 
So, the whole time you were just trying to learn more about Conria, so you could find your brother? Oh, yeah! You can travel around the Seven Nations to find the Seven. But where can you go to find a nation that was destroyed 500 years ago? I probably know more about Conria than both of you. Conria was a nation without a god. Not because it had a god that died or abandoned them, but because it never had a god to begin with. It was a powerful nation, built purely by humans. An unprecedented, flourishing, and glorious civilization. It was the pride of humankind. A nation... without a god? Later events unfolded just as you remember. It was all destroyed... by gods. You mean that... Five hundred years ago, the gods descended upon the world and brought desolation to Kanya. The pride of humankind was uprooted and crushed, like a weed removed from the garden of the gods. How could that be? The history books don't say anything about that! Yes, well, continuing to discuss the past now will only dampen our spirits. Let's keep moving. I will tell you more of what you want to know as we continue our search.